Hello, my cosmic friends, and welcome to this very special video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of an explainer behind one of our very special and I think very unique offerings at Sacred Soma Alchemy. And what this is, is neurolinguistic astrology. You may ask yourself, what exactly is neurolinguistic astrology? Let's start with astrology. Astrology is the ancient study of the cosmology and the placements of all the planets and all of the luminaries and all of the stars relative to you on earth. It explores us as spiritual beings whom are undertaking a journey, a story of which this is only one of many lifetimes that your soul is undertaking. It explores us as spiritual beings whom are undertaking a spiritual journey of return. When you think about your horoscope, as per what you would read in the newspaper or on these days, what you would get on TikTok, that only provides to you a small sliver of the intel that astrology can provide. Your horoscope is mainly focused on your sun sign. That is where the sun was placed when you were born. And so we are currently in Taurus season, meaning that the sun is currently in the sign of Taurus. And if we think of all of the stars and all of the luminaries and even all of the planets that exist in our solar system, they all have their unique placements specific to you at your time of birth when you took your first breath into this incarnation. So if you are a Scorpio and you have your moon in Cancer, that would be a very different experience emotionally than a Scorpio with the moon in Capricorn. This is because those signs have different elemental properties and different stories available to them. And based on the symbolic meaning of what the moon represents, that too has an impact on you. And if one thinks of how the moon impacts the tides here on earth, and if we think of ourselves as mostly water, then it is not too far-fetched to believe how these different planets and cosmic properties of force can likewise have an impact on us. Astrology is the ancient practice of interpreting the sacred stories of the stars. And so if we infuse that definition of astrology with neurolinguistic programming, then we have a very powerful tool and way to navigate this reality that we create, that we co-create, as well as our lives that we share with others and to ourselves. And so from a neurolinguistic programming perspective, which is otherwise known as NLP, there are a system of guiding principles as it comes to communication. And communication is really nothing more than us interpreting the symbols of meaning between each other. It is a way for each of our universes, much like the planets in the night sky, to come together and conjunct and collide. And so when those energies come together, there is a very specific alchemy that occurs. And so now when we think of communication, there is both internal and external communication. They are equally as important. The words that we use with others to convey our internal world are just as important as the words that we say to ourselves internally. Our thoughts and what we say to ourselves matter. This is really funny because when I was doing some digging and research into neurolinguistic programming and astrology, both were coined as pseudoscience by Wikipedia, but I will let you do your own due diligence cognitively to determine why that is. Now, regardless of this, I have quite recently received my certificate in being a master of neuro-linguistic programming. So I'm a practitioner in NLP. 
And so combined with astrology, I am offering sessions in which you can interpret your own storylines and how you are viewing your own stories in yourself internally and how you then communicate that with others. I can also personally advocate from both an astrology and NLP side the benefits of reframing and breaking through self-limiting beliefs. You can essentially reprogram yourself into having stories and mythos within that serve your purpose and mission on this planet much more effectively and in a way that makes you happy. Plato said that those that tell the stories rule society. And Terence McKenna has said that those who tell the stories rule the world. And as someone who is working on being a bard herself, I can attest to telling stories and stories are currency. You should be very aware of the sacred stories that you are telling yourself on a daily basis. Astrology ties our personal stories to the grand opera of the universe. And there is a beautiful realization when you find out that your personal wins, your personal heroics, they actually impact the universe as a whole. This, of course, is only a small explainer of my personal perspective as to the way neuro-linguistic programming works infused with astrology. And so I hope that you have found this small explainer video on what exactly neuro-linguistic astrology is very informative. And if you are interested in more information or questions about this unique way of interpreting the stories of the stars and how that impacts you on a personal level, you can always feel free to contact me or join my newsletter and you can feel free to see all of my musings on this topic. So until next time, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.